Shalom everyone and welcome to Israel Weekly, coming to you from our Jerusalem studio to share important Israel-related events you may have missed during the week. In today's episode, we are going to look at the formation of the new Israeli government and give you a breakdown about this new situation as Israel welcomes a new Prime Minister after 12 consecutive years of leadership under Benjamin Netanyahu. So sit back, relax, and join us as we take a look at what happened in Israel this week. This is Israel Weekly. Let's get started. The 36th government of Israel were sworn in on Sunday after four rounds of elections. In Israel, governments can only be formed when different political parties make compromises and form a coalition representing a majority of Israel's parliament, the Knesset. There have been four Israeli elections since 2019 because no one has been able to form a stable government coalition. The new coalition that's been sworn in is unique to Israeli history. It brings together parties from the left, center, and right, along with crucial support from a religious Arab Muslim party. From the political left, Meretz, the Labour Party, to the center, Blue and White, Yesh Atid, to the right, Yemina, New Hope, and Israel Beitenu, and also includes historic representation of an Arab party. Together, they will make up 61 Knesset members, which is the minimum number required to form a government out of 120 members of the Israeli parliament. Similar to the previous government, the new government is planning to have rotating prime ministers with Naftali Bennett from the Yemina party serving as prime minister for two years, followed by Yair Lapid from the Yesh Atid party, who is expected to take over as prime minister in August 2023. Until then, Lapid will serve as Israel's foreign minister. Israel's new prime minister, Naftali Bennett, aged 49, is the second youngest person to become Prime Minister in Israel. He was sworn in as the 13th Prime Minister, replacing Netanyahu, the longest serving Prime Minister in Israel's history, who will now serve as the leader of the opposition in the Knesset. Bennett, who defines himself as a modern Orthodox Jew, was born in Haifa and is the son of American Jewish immigrants from California. He served in an elite IDF unit and founded a high-tech company which he sold after finishing his university studies. Bennett turned to politics in 2006, serving in many positions in the government. The new government under Bennett and Lapid will have 27 ministers and include a Druze minister, a record of nine women in the cabinet, an openly gay minister, an Arab Israeli MK, a disabled minister, and as we mentioned before, the first ever Arab Muslim party, Ram, will be part of this coalition. With the swearing in of the new Israeli government, Stand With Us reaffirms our respect for Israeli democracy. The new government will face many challenges from within and outwards, and we wish them all the best. We are a non-partisan education organization. As such, we do not endorse or oppose any Israeli political leadership. However, we do educate about political issues and believe it is important to highlight some important facts. No coalition has ever represented the entire Israeli political spectrum, and neither does the new one. However, this attempt at unity across political, ethnic, and religious differences is unprecedented. We hope it becomes a positive example not only for Israelis, but for a Middle East where these types of divisions have fueled far too many years of violence instability, and suffering. We look forward to educating the public further about this government and other related issues. To learn more about the agreements between the political parties that have formed the new government, check the link in the description. And that concludes today's episode. If you want to know more about Israel, make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We leave you with our favorite Israel moment. This week, the IDF helped return a sea turtle named Lahav back to the sea after she had been injured several months ago. After a long rehabilitation, the soldiers, who are part of the Army for Protection of Nature project, saw her off. Beautiful! Shalom from Israel! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
אני מתחנן. אני מתחנן. אתה לא יודע מה דעתי לי בלב. אתה מקבל מה שאתה רוצה לי. זה הזמן למחוא לה כפיים!